Well, uh, congratulations on your recent engagement uh, and reaching the Olympics. Uh, looks like 2012 will be a positive year. Uh, could you imagine yourself being at the uh, London 2012 Games? Um, I've pretty much imagined myself at London for the past four years since Beijing. Um, so yeah, it's, it's one of them situations where I just keep rehearsing it over over my head. I'm in London, I'm going to be shooting there. And um, yeah, it's coming around fast, so hopefully that'll all work out. Yeah, it's a very exciting time. Um, what's your goal for 2012 Olympics uh, and any medal hopes? Um, we've done a lot of hard work, um, team round specifically. That's, that's the real area where we have a good potential of winning a medal. Um, the, the colour of the medal, I don't want to say, but it's the, the real aim is a gold medal. There's, yeah. nothing, there's nothing less to aim for. Yeah. Training's the real priority, so um, regardless of whatever's going on, I've still got to complete my training. Um, so it's, it's juggling things around and making sure you've got enough time to fit stuff in and, and have some relaxation time as well. What sports did you participate as a, uh, a young child and, uh, and where did you find your interest in archery? When I was younger, I did hockey, um, and then I couldn't do that anymore because I nearly broke my thumb so my coach wasn't very happy so I had to stop doing that for archery. I was also quite keen at skiing. I went skiing a lot and really enjoyed that. Um, and again, just the risk of injury was too high so I had to unfortunately stop doing that but it's um, that's still one thing that I really enjoy doing now and then when I can convince someone to take me. I'm a bit of a secret adrenaline junkie. Um, you mentioned earlier about Beijing. Uh, what do you feel your biggest accomplishment in is in archery? Beijing really is. There's nothing. There's, n there's no other competition other than the Olympics to aim for. Um, so Beijing, um, finishing fourth. So that that's that's really the highlight. Yeah. I watched Beijing on TV. I thought it was a really good display. And uh, do you think that London will be able to follow on from that? And uh, and how do you feel it'll be competing in your home nation? London have really worked hard. We've done a few test events. We've trained down at Lords, um, and it's a real spectacular view. And um, we're shooting towards the media centre. We've got the really old building behind you, and then a brand new media centre that looks really, you know, you look back and it's old. You look forward, it's new. So yeah. it, it's going to be a real nice um, environment, I think. What made you take part in the Adopted Olympian Paralympian project? Well, when we first heard about it, I got very excited. I just thought it was just too good an opportunity to miss with um, you know, the Olympics being in London and anything we can do here to, to get our students um, more involved, raise their awareness, really sort of get them on board and supporting Team GB. Um, we just jumped at the chance to do that, to be honest. Can you tell us how you feel today's event went? Brilliantly, really, really well. So uh, so pleased and so honoured that Charlotte could come in and speak to us and just um, Seeing the way the students have responded and the questions they were asking, and um, you know how, how they were, li were listening so intently and with such interest, um, it was it was fabulous, fabulous experience um, for the students. Hopefully, they've been inspired. You know, I think any any elite sportsman or woman has the potential to inspire people um, just by nature of what they do day in day out, the dedication, the focus, the training, all the psychological aspects. Um, a lot of our students today are studying sport or PE, so hopefully they'll take what they've learned today away and apply it to their studies. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed today's talk because I didn't know a lot about archery before and I've just learned a lot about it, especially the elite side of it. And I think that a lot of it can help with some of the studies that we're doing as well. Um, I enjoyed learning about all the training techniques because I didn't think archers train that much, which is four or five times a week, so I learned something new. I thought the best bit about the talk was that she had uh, the bow with her and that she got uh, another student to hold it and uh, see how heavy it was and what she, and put us through like what she had to go through every day for hours on end. Was there anything that she mentioned in the talk that really sort of hit home to you and why? Um, I think the bits about the constant training again, with the constant training and training you become an Olympic athlete, which is something in archery where I thought they only didn't really train that much or didn't do that much gym work whereas they do it every day pretty much, only have a couple of rest days a week. So that really made me think that if you train a lot at something then you can get there as well, become an Olympic athlete or get to the top of where you want to be. As our adopted Olympian, have you got any messages for the, uh, the students of Aquinas about the Olympics? I'd, um, I'd really say if you've, 
if you've got a goal or a job you want to do or a certain aim or grade, just really go for it. Put put everything you can into it, and um, it will cut. It it'll come right in the end. You've just got to carry on and believe that you can do it. And obviously, you'll be supporting Charlotte in the 2012 Olympics. So, have you got a final message for it? Uh, I think we'd both like to just thank Charlotte for coming in and because uh, I thought it was really good um, and we learnt a lot and wish her the best for 2012. Just good luck, I mean hearing um, her, her aim is to go for that, that medal, not just a medal but to go for gold, you know, and uh, that gave me goosebumps listening to that and uh, go for it Charlotte, uh, aim high, literally, and um, yeah, good luck. I'm just looking forward to the Olympics, it's um, regardless of where it is, what's going on, it's, it's still an archery competition. I've still got to compete against the same people that I compete against at World Championships. Um, so as for the competition, it's really remembering that it is just another competition and not getting overwhelmed by it being the Olympics and it being in, in London. And it, but it will be great to see familiar faces around yeah, and you have your course. friends and family close by as well. Mm, it should be a great support. Yeah. Uh, and we wish you all the best with your uh, Olympics and shooting. Thank you. And the rest of your career. Thank you. Thank you.